Yes, sir, me, Andy Goldstein, May United fan. Sadly, my team's no longer in the Champions League. And uh, alongside is Darren Bent, whose team will soon no longer be in the Champions League. How no, are you, Darren Bent? Yeah, I'm good, man. We'll be fine. We'll slap them, we'll beat them, we'll smash them. No Got some facts here. Who wants some facts about Arsenal last night in the Champions League? Here we go. Uh, the don't, last don't time them. Arsenal won a Champions League knockout match, Bukayo Saka was 13 years old. 13. Do you want another one? Okay, I'll give you another one. Arsenal have lost their last nine. Their last nine Champions League first legs by an aggregate score, an aggregate score of 23-5. 23-5. The last time Arsenal got out of the last 16 of the Champions League was just under 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Do you want another one, Benny? Okay, last one. Over their last five Champions League knockout games, <laughs> you've scored three goals and conceded 16. We're not out yet. Men's act going no, on like we're out. We're not out. We're not out yet. Your team are an embarrassment to English football. Absolute joke. I'm sorry, Mr. Rock Bottom over there. Just, mate, we're not talking about my team today. We are. We are actually later <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah. What happened to your team? Wasn't yeah, it? We got big. Do you know what? What happened? If I watching the game last night, we just looked. I wouldn't say not ready for it, but we looked. Not. I wouldn't even say scared, but nervous. We didn't play with that usual pop. It was almost everything was safe. Um. And we just didn't handle the occasion very well. We know there's a bit of a difference in, in European football to, to Premier League football, but we just didn't handle the occasion. I expected more of an attacking force going forward. I was excited thinking, come off the back of the two last results we've had, five, six nil and five nil. Against Burnley and West Ham. I get it, mate. but you got you take that confidence. I know, but that arrogance yeah, into but the part, next game. part of the arrogance is because we've scored eleven in two games, we don't need a striker. Well, no, but you, you, you do need a striker. No, but you, you turn up and you go, right, we're, com we're full of confidence. Arsenal are absolutely flying. Let's get the ball down, pass it, move it quickly. But everything was slow, it was quite laboured. Didn't create anything, didn't have any Why shots on goal. Why Saka? Cusp of a world-class player, apparently. Yeah, it happens. It happens. But they're the games, Benny. It's all good turning up no, against one, West Ham and I, Burnley. Yeah, but wait, what, it's one game. He must go at the second he, leg. Yes, he may well do And that. then the discussion's redundant. Yes, it is. Could but, if he, that. <laughs> but if he doesn't, <laughs> okay, it, then it, you are redundant. But I, I get good that, word that. It just wasn't... We just It wasn't an Arsenal performance. As I said, they look, not, I wouldn't even say laboured as such, but it just looked like there was no real belief that they could win it. Didn't know how to handle the occasion. Whereas the Porto were doing everything. Little dives here, little time wasting here. From from Arsenal's corners, which we had, it felt like we had about 10 corners. Foul, foul. A Porto player would go over. Got to be a bit mm. cuter in the Champions League. Mm. Inexperienced, we look. Now, Arsenal were hammered, embarrassed, annihilated 1 0 last night by Porto in the first leg of their Champions League round of 16. It was live on Talk Sport 2. The Gunners failed to register a single shot on target for the first time this season and were beaten by a stunning 94th minute winner by a Brazilian winger. How do you pronounce your name? No, you Galino. Can, you can do it. Galino. Who, by the way, should have scored. The post and then the Bosch. That must have been very difficult. It's a snapshot bomb. He's come off. When it comes off the post as fast as it does, just to react. You don't yeah. want to react to it. He did. He did. But still, open goal. Uh, anyway, the Arsenal boss, Mikel Arteta, spoke after the match and said that his side needed to be better going forward to get something from the game. Oh, well done. We really dominated the game, but we lacked purpose, especially in the first half, to, to have much more aggression, to break lines, to play forward, to to generate much more threat in the back line. In the second half, there were better, much better things and we generated a lot of situations. And credit to them as well, they defended well, but it's true that when we got in, in certain situations, we didn't finish um, the actions, we didn't put the right final ball or the right cross. So we will learn from that and, and be better. Learn from it. Mm -hmm. Bit late to be learning, knockout stages, Champions League. Well, no, I remember the ex inexperience in that squad in that competition is it's huge. It's hard. There's none. Next to none. Well, you, is, is it inexperience? I mean, you know how to win a game of football, I mean, don't you? Uh, but it's different. I, mean, I know Kai Havertz is there because he's obviously 1 1. Jorginho 1 1. Right. right. And Zinchenko wasn't there. Garrett. These guys are played in it. Well, Zinchenko's been in Man City's team for long enough to know what it's like there. to be a winner. I get that, but still inexperienced. The, the majority of the squad. Declan Rice knows what it's like to lift up a European trophy. Not that, not that competition. He knows what it's like to it be. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a completely different competition. The, the quality's better no. in the Champions League. Uh, let me tell you now the reason you didn't register one shot on target has nothing to do with inexperience. I'm it's because you were useless. It, no, it looked like an inexperienced performance last yeah, night. Yeah, well, amateur. You're right. Amateur hour. That's amateur hour. Amateur hour. Honestly, either way, it wasn't good. No, it wasn't good enough. But at the end of the day, the second leg. Are you, how better. confident are you? Because yesterday on the show, you went, oh, we'll go for it, we'll smash Paul Tony. No, I didn't say that. I said 2 1. I thought it'd be 2 1 to Arsenal. Right. I thought it'd be tight. But for that to happen, you need two shots on target. I think we will be fine. I just think it's one of those things. That, ex that experience in that first leg will make the guys wake up and go, oh, that wasn't good enough. Second okay, they leg, need that. They need 90 minutes of getting battered for them to realise that. They didn't get that. battered for 90 minutes, did they? 90 minutes without a single shot on target. They didn't get battered, though, did they? Oh. Without a single shot. It happens. Frightening. 
Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.